Good evening. Traders, friends, family, community, everyone. Today's our Sunday prep. We're going to be going over EPD. We are going to be going over BA. We are going to be going over Zoom. We are definitely going over SPOT and ES, but ES is definitely most important right now because there's just so much distractions out there. It's been nothing but buying lately. And my confirmation is here. I'm gonna show you guys right now. You can see these sell. This is all selling here. Pay attention to this. This is all selling here, right? More selling here, right? Just by the most candles in that trend going down. But within that selling, we were getting some buying action here. But then if you notice here, this is a double bottom. It's been nothing but buying. We only had, I won't even count this uh, first yellow candle here after the bits of the big spike on Monday. Um, but this candle here, we will have to count this hot dog pattern per usual. This is basically going to be above breakout. This will be considered breakout here because we're actually above that 3567 level, which is very important. Next target is 3657. So we should be getting another uh, 50 points from here from current um, levels. Time frame, what are we looking at? Today's a daily. This is a daily chart. I mean, we got a daily candle. I don't like the daily because I want to speed up the process of finding out where we're going to be at. A daily will give you some, it won't give you the fastest time, to be honest with you. It will just tell you that the direction is confirming. So check this out. We're going to go four day. Cut the time in half. It just gets juicy. It gets crazy. Now, remember I told you guys about the selling going down and there's been more buying than selling? But in between, like, I check for a lot of different things. Um, I check for volume on candle sizes because if you check so certain um, candle sizes, you'll see, let me clean this up, you'll see that the volume's lower than the previous candle and the candle size engulfing. Like, this is a big candle here. Right, I can turn value on on the four day just to give me um, more of a heads up. Watch this. Ah, uh, is it overlapped? Sorry about that. Yep, should be overlapped. Ah, uh, maybe it's. Wait, wait, wait. Why is it not showing? Oh, futures. Okay, there we go. Bingo. Yeah, I understood that. <laughs> just by looking at this four day, this is what this what got me, and I was just like, okay. Now look at that massive candle right here that engulfed. That candle volume was lower than the previous candle. There's a lot of buying, don't get me wrong. There's been a lot of buying here. But we need this current candle that we have. This four-day ends actually, um, what is this? This is, uh, let me get rid of, let's clean this up. Let's go, perfect. So this four day was 11.6 to 11 12, 11 12, the next four days. So this, this four day is going to end the 17th. So what's today? 15, 16. So Tuesday, this candle is going to close. Now we're going to use previous candle um, ranges. It's very important. We want to look for the smallest candle range in the last, let's say, 10 candles or 20 candles, depending on how far back you want to go. Me, I already know these. I already know what I'm looking for and I already know what to, what to do. So we, the smallest candle would be somewhere around here. We can go as far as here. We can use this one. This range was a 45 point range, right? The largest candle, which was this one in golfing, this was a 279 point range. And it engulfed not just one, it went outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 candles back. Despite the lower volume, we have to get another. We, we're gonna have to need. We're gonna need four more. Um, well, two more four-day candles that have nothing but buying in it. And if we do get selling, it'll be the selling's gonna be one um, nice yellow candle. Then we'll have a continuation until we touch that thirty-eight seventy here at the top. So I like the four-hour intraday too. You know, just by one thirty. The first four hour is already the direction, gives you that direction. Unless there's a there's some sell the news crap and that last candle becomes the biggest range of the day. It does happen when you have a small range, you gotta pay attention to that. If it's a small range from the previous candle, I'm gonna show you that what I mean exactly by that. This is like I feel like we're gonna get a lot more money coming flowing in. This day right here with this big candle, that, that was already money coming in. That was some inflow. But we're right now, we're currently inside that big range. So we got to get out this range in order to advance higher. And when we do it after channeling for this long, this is actually perfect. Like I will tell you guys, the best way to make a channel is just use a rectangle, put it in the biggest candle size. Once you break in between, and this is it. We got to break out of this range. So until we break out of this range, because it's higher, I want to see us above 36.57, or at least test there this week. We could test that, bounce back to 36.12, then break out to 3,700. I'm just trying to make things simple for you guys. It's not really that hard. Your fibs will, you will learn fibs as you, like I always tell people, when I first start and when I teach, I always teach that support and resistance is the most important things to look at. Then you got the term supply and demand, just the more advanced term, you know? Um, supply is basically resistance. Demand is to buy. So it's like people saying, oh, this and that, and you have Elliott waves. Don't, don't complicate anything. Like when I first started, I always um, wanted to find the simplest way. I wanted to know what was the basic way when starting with charts, it was just support and resistances. That's why we call it levels. That's why I say follow price. And if you notice, Fibonacci are just supports and resistances. Keep that in mind. Fibonacci's are just support and resistances. That's exactly what they are. Oh my God, are we getting a tornado or something? Jeez. Sorry about that. <laughs> So for those who are like, oh, um, what are the levels and everything like that, start with the basic FIB levels and start playing with them. Start adjusting them, calculating. It's all numbers. If you like math, look, use the mean, the middle, the, the middle um, percentage if you want to. There's a lot of different ways, and I've learned this by myself. I was not taught how to use these. I actually started using them because um, my buddy, um, what's this guy's name? Because I asked him a question. Because... I noticed that when he would draw his fibs, my 14 and 30 was always hitting it and my Keltner channels always followed, you know, and everything just started lining up. I was like, yo, can you backtrack that and do like a fib, can you put Fibonacci retracements with Fibonacci extensions? Can you put them inside of each other? And he was like, you could do whatever you want. So I was like, let me start playing with this by myself. Cause I, I just, I was just paying attention. I was like, dang, my levels line up with his fibs and it's crazy. So, I use my trend line, not my trend lines, I use my simple um, moving averages as guidance, direction. If price is hovering above and bounces, the trend is always up. Price is below and hitting the top of, of um, hitting them and rejecting off of them from above, price is down, it's puts, you know, like it's basic. So now that we're in here, this, a, this could play out in so many different ways. I don't wanna make this too long. So it's gonna play out, we're gonna do it like this. Rejected, breaked out. We can get another W go here. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're getting, we're gonna be up here for a little bit. Could be wrong, I mean, let's see what happens. We're definitely gonna test this fake out possibly here. I mean, if this is a trend going up, so we gotta, let's do this. This will make the most sense. They can just, 
Is it going to burn? Oh, they can just keep burning premium. It depends on what they want to do. This is OPEX week two. I think it's, it's OPEX week, yeah, the 20th. It's monthly um, options expiries. So this could be it. I mean, the trends continue to rise. So it depends. Either we get up here we, and we reject all the way down here, catching some more people, possibly wick here and come up. This is what I'm getting. I mean, I can definitely be wrong, but this top of this channel goes all the way across. We're getting, a, we're in a sending triangle. One of my favorite patterns. Asymmetricals and ascending are my favorite patterns, especially when you have, you're developing a nice bull flag too, or a pennant within it. Cup and handle as well within it too. And if you look at this pattern that I just drew, it looks like a cup and handle. This would be our handle here. Unless we're already in a current handle, which I feel we are in a current handle. So let's bring this down. Let's bring this over. Or like a J hook. <laughs> Freaking amazing. They about to take, they're about to send it. <laughs> new candle open, new H4 candle open just now. They're about to send it. I love it. So the new, okay, so nine o'clock. I gotta get the times of each candle. So nine o'clock, it's the new candle, okay. And 12 hours from now. All right. This is good. All right, so that's ES, we already got that. Let's, let's get some, um, I'm loving BA. I'm loving BA. BA has been paying crazy for us. It really has. Equities turn off that volume. There we go. This is my intraday. This is my long term levels. Move. I'm gonna do a screen pause real quick because I don't wanna, I, I can't show these fibs. Okay. Just give me one second, I'll be right back. There we go. I'm still here, guys. Here we go. Now we're back. Now we're back. Now we're back. I just know how I am with my my levels and stuff. Worked hard to create them. Here we go. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. This is this is perfect. Every level is working accordingly. Despite a bigger candle, this could be the biggest candle this week. I'm definitely looking at 200 this week. Possibly 212.72. Mind you, this is a four day, remember that. So Tuesday, this candle closes. Remember what I told you, go over each candle, previous candles, to see the ranges. Nice close above the 1430. Where is my other, where's my, my study study? There we go. Sorry about that. Should have kept that. But I'm missing one thing. Nope, actually all here. Okay. 14, 30, and 20. 20 is the middle count. So four day works like an H4. Just a bigger and stronger time frame. Shortens the curve. We might get to 540. That makes the most sense. But they're gonna if they're gonna touch that they're gonna touch two twelve seventy two. Definitely can see that happen, but I have to go back to the two day for this one. Let's 
So strong, so strong. And here's the breakout. The most rejected level, 184, 74. Previous two day, looked like an inverted hammer and what happened? Rejected by the current two day. Sorry, one second. Okay. And remember, just go over these levels, watch these levels. You guys ask me for the levels, and the majority of the time, the levels don't change. See, this is more intraday, short term. I can just do a full top to bottom. And if you, look, if you focus on these levels on the outside, you can see these are really the main levels. And why is that? I'm going to show you right now with my annotation. So this dashed line here is a dominant level. Coincides with this level here. The bigger level from the highs to the lows. So the next level, once we break this 195.43, we're filling gap. Why? We already tested here, which happened here rejection and then we're going to retest it one more time and this is going to be the breakout time 250 this will be the gap and remember we have the two what is it what is it I'm position. sorry one second Sorry about that. I got a new plan. I got a new core for us. It's a leap. I'm going to throw a lot of money at it tomorrow. Probably about 5K, but I'm going to tell you guys that. That's IBM. I, I should have added that in the beginning. It's going to be a crazy trade. All right. Yeah, it was January um, 250 calls. And this is why. <laughs> if you check here. You can get that in a short amount of time. If this is that true breakout, this is how this move extended. I'll just make another one like that going up and I'll just move it over. Select it. There we go. Does that make any sense? Hopefully it does. You don't have to complicate many things. There's nothing to complicate. Remember, we have the dominant levels. We have a big gap to fill. So when we break that 250, we're going to we're gonna hit this other gap at the top, at 330. Actually, I want to open up. I'd rather open up leaps in BA, but IBM has so much crazy potential. I'm talking about like almost, almost 30 bags potential, IBM. But this BA one, let me just look at June real quick, the 300s. They probably, exp they are so cheap. May? No, that's May. May 300s are very cheap. I don't see why we can't close that gap by um, February. June's, they go as far as 280. Oh, oh sorry. Wait, it's three, what is it? 330s? Wow, June 330s are cheap. Why are we not in those? And it's at the bottom. The bottom is 135. And the chart lines up with it. Holy crap. Look at this. Check this out. I, I, we got too many leaps in BA and majority of them are up. I know a couple of you guys in the team that have some crazy size positions and are already up and already started taking profit. And now you basically have runners. Once you have 200% when a leap that expires in like five, four to five months, why not, you know? So here we go. Look at these. Somebody's gonna probably steal this from this from this tonight. I bet you. And claim it. That's all good, but y'all know it's here. I got this video stamped. Was it the Junes? What is this? June 21. So this is 22. 
Nope, 21. 22 is not bad either. Damn, they got some, they got a lot, but they don't, they don't have anything open beyond that, do they? 290s, this is all. I mean, it goes as far as 290s, I mean, still not bad. All right, but let's go, let's go to June 21st, 330s. BA's bottomed, BA's bottomed. Right here, look at these, 375. Do I just open up that wire out for like just, that wire out, sorry. Close some positions. I got some big heavy positions. I got a lot of long-term positions too. Look at this chart. I think I can select it. Let me, okay, yep, I can select it. Uh, I'm gonna add it, let me add it. There we go. Check this chart out. This last move did what? This is this had a low of 254, high of 19. That's about nine nine bags. If this is the breakout breakout, like don't go off of this, but this is probably interesting. This is actually not this is not the low. That's the low over here. So it'd have to be something like this. I never did this before, but I'm gonna try it. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. <laughs> That's scary, right? Check that out. So this time, from current levels, I don't know how long these been open though, let's see. Oh, they've been open. This is perfect. Remember I showed you guys the dominant levels too. Which would be the top was here. So it'll actually be like this. You know why it's disgusting? Because look at look at this. So we're looking at 4450 by expiry. Ten bags. Are you willing to sit on it? That's the question. Me? I am. So let's say you put two grand in here by, let's say, March. We're here, 53.90. Let's just say that. Or even, not even 53.90. We're above 40. That's something you set on. Create a, another account with leaps in it and don't look at them. Do you want to pull money out of it? Why not? Let's say I bought like 10, 10 contracts here. At 13, I'm definitely selling. I'm selling two. Hit 18, no, no, actually, at 18, I'm selling two. Possibly 13, I'll sell one. At 18, I'll sell two. And I'm left with seven. So when I get up here, I'm selling three. At 28. You already made way more than you already put in. Already, already I almost had 10 bags here. So from seven, now you have four. You're not gonna just, you could get a runner out at 36, another runner out right there, another runner out there, and just let that last runner play out, see what happens. It's always gonna be, and I know this is a great play because I know y'all liking it. You're probably drooling over it because I'm definitely drooling over it. And I think we're gonna get in tomorrow. Yes, gonna get a gap up tomorrow. Let that gap fade, fill, then have you up. We can even do, 350s for a premium jump. Remember that last time we did our BA play? It was this run up. Crazy. No, this is, we're getting double signals. Here it is, yep. Near the lows. People probably like, this guy's crazy. He's using a premium chart. But how sick is that? The premium charts lines up with resistances. Got our signals right here. Three, three up, one down. Back to back, two up. About to be three up, too. They got to close it above the 30, and it's a wrap. 
So these should definitely see 493 this week. 635. Definitely is possible. I can definitely see that happening. Clear this up for you guys. That's BA. I gotta get to EPD. I gotta get to EPD. That's my favorite play right now, to be honest. I have at least 5,000 contracts accumulated in leaps and for end of year. Target is 24, 2004. First target. But we're gonna see 2234. This is a breakout of an asymmetrical triangle. Very strong. It's been a lot of buying lately, a lot. Remember that pattern I showed you guys with ES? Down, 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 more yellow candles, you see? Now we just have nothing but buying. It's been a lot of buying. They break us above, what is this, 19? I'll give you a, I'm gonna make it easy for you guys. Here, side targets. Since we broke out the asymmetrical triangle, we get a continuation for the possibly next three weeks and get some um, pullbacks. Yes, it's gonna be healthy. Flip, scalp, do what you gotta do. This is what I got. And then we already broke out. First target. See it coming in right here. Before December's over, should be 20. It's gonna be 20 this week, actually. I mean, the way the market is doing right now, 30 points right now. Yes, I got 20.04. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a crazy disclaimer out. Um, probably Thursday, depending on where um, EPD is at. If it's even at 1965 Thursday, um, how much contracts I really have of the the 20s. It's a lotto. But I did buy after everybody. I bought one at 0.01. That was my, I was the first trade this morning. They only filled me one at 0.01. There's actually 0.01 on the ask. And I only got filled one. And I became the bid. And I only put an order in for 50, no, not 50 contracts. I'm lying. I'm sorry. Yeah, 50 contracts, which would be $50. And but now we look at the chart, it's like, they can do this. They can do this by Wednesday if they wanted to. This gap that we have right now. I check. Look at this. I need the box because I got to show you something too. So from a bottom here, it took these amount of these we we're using right now. I think this is a flat two day. From the bottom of the chart, it took us. This amount of candles it gets resistance, near resistance, right? So, and then over here from the bottom of this to get to this resistance, take this amount of, take these amount of candles. But to actually from the bottom, you gotta, you gotta put it like that until it pulls back. But the reason I make boxes is boxes is basically timing from support to resistance. That's why I draw boxes. It's not, it's not to do with ranges. It's how many candles it takes to get to that um, support or resistance. And now that we broke out, we're going to duplicate it since we found another bottom. And the bottom came off of the bottom trend line. So we got this going on for us. This lines up with, let's clear this up. What day is this? Hold on, oops, that's why it wasn't working. 11.30. But if we break out here, this is this different. Yeah, I see that. Now I see what's going on, okay. Yeah, we're already above here, so we gotta break up. All right, yep, I see it. Let me see if I can clear that up. So we actually got to get rid of this one. This one makes sense. If this is actually a pure breakout. It won't be the exact same. Actually, probably be double the rectangle. So let's duplicate Put that on top of that one. 
All right. Now let's create another rectangle. Similar to that size, so I can just get rid of that. That's how I'm duplicating it. All right. Activate. I want to make sure it's the same length. Because it should be double the size of the range. So when this breaks out, it gets scary sometimes too because sometimes it like it literally lines up with us um with the levels. So we can buy the the 20 calls for a, a lot of people were paying smart. People flipped this week's 20 calls and they also bought the following week, the 27th. It was like they was the same price. I said, that's paying attention. This is how you, you have you get traders that actually pay attention to what's going on. So it'll be like that. I'm get rid of this now. This will be our max move. And that lines up basically with our resistance here. 2144 to 2234. I got some crazy leap. I got there. They're already up right now, too. And we've talked about these leaps the 23rd, the 33, the 32 um, calls for um, 2023 or 2022. I think it was 2023. We already filled this gap. The reason I like this chart so much is because we're about to double test. Like, you seen BA, right? BA and EPD are going to move the same way. You didn't see the strength in EPD. Everybody's like, oh my God, it's red, blah, blah, blah. I didn't panic. I don't need to panic. If you pay attention to where the volume during the whole day is focused at on a certain price, that's when you know what they're trying to do. They did the same thing with um, Ed. And we played Ed for freaking a month. And I think we made over 10,000% in combined because we had a 2,000%. A um, I think that was, it was like from 20 cents to $3. No, no, sorry, I lied. 20 cents to 420. Took time though. We held on to it. I think that was, it was a month. It was the, I think it was the 80 calls. Crazy. They got so cheap. Same, similar, like, remember with BA, it's going to touch that, it's going to touch that first gap, and then there's that next gap. People don't pay attention to a lot of things. We got a gap here. All gaps count. This is a two-day, too. I haven't put it even on a four-day, but look at this gap right here. When we break that 2234, we're going to get that 2498, and I got 25 calls, too. This play has time, short-term, and long-term. And if you're already in long-term, you're going to get anxious to want to sell, which is not bad. Price is gonna go crazy here when it breaks out. That's EPD. You guys zoom. Some of the charts are on um, YouTube too. Same levels have not changed. This is one of my favorites. Definitely a second wave is coming, but this is, doesn't mean that the I think the market's going to brush everything off. It's already doing that. If you look at uh, ES right now. If you just play these levels, like, this is crazy. There's two days. When does this two-day end? It started the 12th. Oh, we get another two-day starting tomorrow. Yep. Let me see. 16th. Yep. New two-day. So are they going to really build it down here? Or are they going to drop it down some more? I mean, if the market's gapping up, then Zoom is going to get some more, more downside. Maybe 385-ish here. What is this level here? Like 390-ish. 385, 390. Probably create a wick just like this one. Double bottom it to this level. 30, 366, 28. I wouldn't mind that. You can bring on a 345. Make that a nice double bottom off that gap fill. Good long and short. Actually, a, actually a good indicating stock too. This thing sometimes strong on pull on even down days with spy on the S. 
at Zoom levels for you. That's my trade thought for that. Oh, another, I got to do IBM. I got to do GT. Like, I got, there's so much. GT's under the radar right now for a lot of people. I got some 11 calls that I've been nibbling on. I just, I'm not too sure about it yet. That's why I have not alerted. But when I do alert G, actually, when I do alert GT, I actually alert it with more time than I take. I take the more short term, depending on where it's at. Breakout for this one is 1039. That close above 982 was perfect. New candle starts tomorrow. It's been a lot of buying lately, though. Let me check this. Yes, it has. Look at that nonstop buying. That big yellow day. I forgot what was what was that due to. I forgot. Look at this volume over here. I think their next the next time they report. I'm looking at 10, 13 is my target. I got some of my eleven calls. I got some eleven calls. This is a two day. It's got a four day going. People like to know like, oh, what's my main focus? You'll see my main focus. There's things that I really I'm excited about, but I stay quiet about it too. I don't I'm not I don't like to pump things. I stay quiet about things. I get excited about the things that are moving, yeah. But certain things like if I'm not worrying about it too much, and if it's a scalp, that just means it's a flip. You gotta remember that scalps in and out. If you got a small account, you could buy next week's and scalp. Might pay more, but you're still gonna make money with that. See that breakout is 1039. We're still inside this um four-day candle, that's why. But this was a big rejection area, 982. If we can break that 1039, oh man. See you at 1173 before December. This is a four day. So how many more candles we have left until December? 81, two, three. Three more candles after. So if we get above here, this 4D ends when Tuesday. I want to see 1039. I mean, this cap is going to make us move. So this four day is going to break out. They close us above 1039 this week. It's over. Those 11 calls, what I have, I'm sorry. This is like the list here. Oh, I'm working on something for the whole team too. Um, where are they? These, nice. These, nice. I was looking at some leaps for that too. We'll get on that. I want to see that 1039 test. I'll probably hit it hard there too. Get some 13 um, leaps. I was looking at 13 leaps for that. All right, let's get to IBM real quick because I really want to talk about IBM. I always tell myself I never played this crap stock, but it's not crap. But I don't trade with fundamentals, so let's trade the chart. I want to play leaps. I just want leaps in this play. This is gorgeous, very gorgeous. Not much selling, it's, been not, it's not much selling. Actually, that's a lie, I'm sorry. Looks like the sellers are out right now. We got some buyers here at this level between 11.15. I mean, sorry, 115 and 117. To get us back above that, I wanna see 125. I like the 150s, they got these leaps, the 150 leaps. 150 will actually be my breakout area. We get that test, come back, pull back to 138 possibly, and then break out. Only one I didn't go parabolic and hasn't still is IBM. It's been in a downtrend. So maybe this is the time that IBM breaks out. We don't want to miss this one, and we don't want to mess this one up. So we got to start taking leaps. I know a lot of you guys are converting to leaps now because it's, it's, it's been easy. It's been working. Look at this. This is wild. Move. Actually, let me make this. Uh, let me do a monthly just so I can get the top and bottom of the range. Here we go. Let's 
It's a scary and a great way. The most dominant level is 124.49. You guys seen that too when I had it on the short term. That's why I wanted the 150s. We can use each, what is this, year, right? As in boxes. But we'll do from the high to lows of closing candles. This was a dominant area. Highs and lows to closing candles will be here. Highs and lows to closing candles. We can do colors, we can do colors too. This is another strategy I love, see? Right near supports, highs and lows of candles. Within the range, wow, nuts. It's a big range. Then a support here from a, from near to top of here. I'm not using the wicks. I'm using inside these candles. And it's the end of the year here, right? So stabilizing from a uh, head and shoulders. I'll show you right now. Right down. Now developing a support. Now we're creating a wedge. Look at this beautiful wedge. Wedge, me. Wedge, 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 wedge. Clean wedge. Very clean. So if we were to use these ranges of channels, right? Let's say this is a bottom. We're probably creating an inverted head and shoulders now. Why I say that? Let's change the color. Let's go with something bright, pink. Now we're gonna change this to pink. One, All right? This is what I'm getting, honestly. This is a different box, so this can be something like that. I don't know. We still got some time. I mean, we gotta see where this closes. So I really can't count on this box right now because it's not officially complete. But if this range is similar to this range, then the previous range of this range would be this box, duplicate. And if this is the bottom of it and we're gonna go off of this, this is where we're going. So it will be looking like this, depending on what we close at. So I'm gonna say we're gonna close the year around 124, but Maybe probably saying here, this is actually the right range. Near the, um, I could be topped up here too. It still won't be bad, but this makes more sense here. But we're still coming inside of the candle. So wherever the candle opens or closes from, <clears throat> I mean, this makes sense. You can get a big range. This is a monthlies too. So quarterly. Guys, I just want to simplify things for you guys. Simplify it. Simplify it. Sorry about that. There we go. Quarterly. Now it's a bigger range. Now we can do, we just actually edit this with the true range. True range is within the candles. And using a bigger time frame, activate. So much rejection at the 20 SMA, but we are at the bottom of the kelp. If I add kelps to this, watch what happens. I'm gonna just, let me just adjust this. I'll teach you guys so many different things. This is to simplify your trading, making it easier. I'm not trying to be like confused. It's down here. True ranges, these are true ranges. Crazy. So that means these are true ranges. We move this one. We're gonna stick to this one, duplicate. Now if we close here, this would be the range. It would be the move here. So 160s. It depends on where we go. Do they send us back up? I mean, they, they brought us down here on a quarterly. Started developing a base. 
So what would be the smartest thing? They won't they won't close it there. They're gonna probably close it somewhere around here above. Yep, makes sense. 167, 83 still makes the most sense. So 170s. This is how I'm showing you how I I how I choose leaps. This is a an amazing one too. January 23s. Jesus Christ. These right here, amazing. I mean, we're looking at end of 21. So I go January 22, 180s. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, we got leaps to open up. 170s. Right, let's do that. Let's just do something real quick. Let me actually read, let me actually get the 23s in here too, because I want to see something. I want to show you something. So first, let's say 50, no, 60 point move. Right? So we go to the leaps, guys. Pay attention to this. Look at the prices. The 200s are so cheap, but you can definitely get them cheaper. These are iffy here. So the smartest one would be, the spreads are crazy. So I would mess with actually the 200s because the spreads are perfect. So this is, I want to go to 2021 actually, perfect. And the number was what? 167.83. I mean, they can even close it at the top. Actually, yes. That's where we're going to get the reversal. Sorry. Activate. I think they're going to close it above at the top range of this up here. I think they're going to do it. It's very possible. And I actually quote on the lines up here. Very possible. So let's still stick to 167. So the 170s, right? For 2023. They're going to be $19. That's 400%. That's end of... um. 2021 no actually no wait no these are okay that's 2023 it's 21 january i'm um, 22nd sorry january 2022 where are you at we can buy the 170s 148 they're gonna be 148 probably get them cheaper the 165 to two dollars 700%, 160s, just about 700%. But the real best bet is here. Nope, I got, that was close. I ask, okay, so the bid is actually 10 times the deal price. You will have to be filled on the bid. So the best bet here, mark 170, 14, compare, compare. This one is close. This one is 10 bags. This would be the mark for this one. This would be the smartest play. The 155s for 2022. Hold on to those as a leap. Let's add that to Chase. Gotta open that leap tomorrow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spread the, I'm gonna do three different leaps tomorrow. Just let them sit. Just collect, you can collect on them at even at 500. Just gotta sit on them. But that's that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm gonna stop the recording now.